Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wise official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. My Kelty Brown isn't letting anything come in her way of losing weight. The Sister Wise celebrity has been showcasing her recent weight loss achievements to her social media audience. Sister Wise followers admire the star for making significant progress in a little period. Michael T and her husband Tony are busy caring for three toddlers. Now, they are on their shared path of reducing excess weight. Both performers have been excelling in their respective journeys. Michael T is receiving special encouragement and support for being committed to her goals even after having her twin babies. Now, she has also started showing off her results and fitness routines to motivate her supporters. The TLC star is becoming fixated on losing weight. Is she striving for further weight reduction? Sister Wives, Michael T. Brown intends to lose more weight following remarkable progress. Michael T. Brown, a star of the show Sister Wives, has undergone a significant transformation by losing a substantial amount of weight. She doesn't shy away from showcasing her triumphs on social media. The TLC actress loves discussing about her weight loss progress and future objectives with her followers. In her most recent post, she shared her pride at how far she has come in her journey. She posted a picture of herself while posing in her home gym. The TLC artist shows a black t-shirt and shorts for her typical gym regimen. She wrote, Two and a half years later, I hit my original goal. Mike Kelty claimed that she weighed 270 while starting her quest in 2021, but the TLC star got pregnant, unexpectedly, in 2022, after reaching 245 pounds. So, she had to put her quest to a standstill and focus on her twin babies. Mike Kelty decided to embrace parenthood once she hit 275 pounds. She followed basic diets and weighed 203 pounds till January 2023. Finally, she decided to launch her genuine weight loss quest and followed a full-fledged diet and training plan. The reality TV celeb went on to praise her spouse for being the consistent support in their shared journey. Moreover, she said that she now weighs 160 albs. However, Padron has made it apparent that she is not quite done and is trying harder to reduce additional weight. But people are particularly concerned about Michaelty's devotion as she has already reached her lowest. Sister Wives, fans request Michaelty to stop losing weight. Michaelty Brown is having the finest feeling of her life after dropping a lot of weight. While many accused her of using Ozempic, she didn't pay notice to them. She doesn't leave a chance to show off her tiny physique with social media pictures. Recently, she shared another image of herself with a coffee mug. The Sister Wives star wearing a floral t-shirt while carrying the mug in her hand. She said, Water is the most essential element of life because of that water you can't make coffee. Fans were quick to compliment over her gorgeous smile and thinner personality in the comments section. However, a big portion of followers urged that she quit being so preoccupied with weight loss. One fan remarked, You look great, but don't lose more. You are lovely, but premature wrinkles show up when you lose too much. Cody Brown calls his failure at polygamy a Shakespearean love story turned tragedy. Cody Brown, the 54-year-old star of Sister Wives, recently expressed his opinions regarding the drastic changes in his life following the collapse of three of his four polygamous marriages. Reflecting on these big adjustments, Cody Brown voiced worry about his future, noting that his difficulties in moving forward might originate from not having fully let go of his past. I'm struggling to see what the future holds, maybe because I just haven't let go enough of the past, he told P.O. Pale. The process of unraveling began in November 2021 when Christine Brown, Cody's wife of nearly 26 years, announced her departure from the family. This was followed by Janelle Brown and then Mary Brown, Cody's second and first wives, respectively, also declaring the end of their relationships with him within the next two months. During this time, only his fourth wife, Robin Brown, remained with him, shifting into what became practically a monogamous marriage. 
Cody revealed his tremendous sense of loss over these occurrences, highlighting the pain he felt as his previously cherished polygamous lifestyle disintegrated. He remarked, In the end, it felt like everybody else was unhappy because I felt like I was lodging all the complaints, that it just made me cynical. I enjoyed our scenario. It just seemed like not everybody else did. His vision for his family was one of unity and facing problems together, a desire that he now sees as unfulfilled. I didn't want to be the guy that has this family that I struggle with until I'm dead. Then they all get along just beautifully when I'm gone. I don't understand why we can't transcend this now. It hurt my heart that we couldn't transcend our differences. It's part of life. I enjoy the life we had, and I hope I love the life that I'll get, he expressed. Cody poignantly described the situation as a Shakespearean love story that's a tragedy, noting, it's just we loved and we lost. Despite these hardships, Cody stays hopeful. He fondly recalls the life they enjoyed as a large family, referring to it as a tremendous team experience navigating the trials of life. This thought seems to reignite his optimism as he looks back at the past with pleasure. There's my optimism. It's back. I'm seeing my past again and saying, it was lovely. It's changed now, he remarked. Cody closed with a forward-looking perspective, expressing a hope for mutual love and the capacity for each member of the family to move on with their life. Maybe I'll find that optimism for the future. In the end, ideally we just love each other and let each other move on, he said. Mary Brown's new lover was in significant debt only two years prior to connecting with the sister-wives actress. Angus Andrews was carrying a $20,000 debt two years before Mary introduced him to the world, per a report by the U.S. Sun. Mary went public with her new partner on January 16, approximately a year after making her official break from ex-spiritual spouse, Kobe Brown. Amos entered the high-profile relationship with plenty of experience in the love area, since the 55-year-old has four unsuccessful marriages in his background. Amos was initially married to Tracy Smith Lang, whom he divorced in 1998, according to public records. The exes shared two children together, Cody, 36, and Christina, 35. His second marriage to Shannon Murray Martin was short-lived, and the pair split in 2000. Amos and Shannon share one 26-year-old daughter named Tiffany. The exes struggled for custody of their child after their divorce was finalized. He divorced third wife, Christine Andrews, in 2004. Emma's fourth marriage to Jennifer Carol Andrews lasted five years, from 2016 to 2021. Jennifer highlighted irreconcilable differences in her divorce file, alleging that the couple experienced difficulties that cannot be reconciled and that have prevented the parties from pursuing a viable marital relationship. A findings of fact document confirms that Amos and Jennifer's personal property was divided equally between the two. Jennifer retained control of their 2020 GMC terrain, while Amos was granted their 1996 Ford Expedition and 2019 Cadillac XTS. They both funded their own council bills, and neither party was given alimony. Both parties were required to cover their own personal debts under their respective names. Jennifer owed a total of $15,380, while Amos' debts reached $17,372. The bills included Chase Credit Card $2,583, Case's Reward Credit Card $3,657, Discover Credit Card $1,677, PayPal Credit Card $1,317, PayPal Credit $614, RC Wiley Account $780, HSBC Credit Card $2,290, Merrick Bank Credit Card $900, Credit One Credit Card $1,337, and Integra Credit Loan $2,217. The ex's joint debt was divided, leaving Jennifer paying $5,462.50 and Emos with an obligation of $3,470.50, both 
bringing Mary's new boyfriend's grand total to $20,842.50. The findings of fact file also includes information of a personal injury settlement under Emma's name. He is set to collect the funds in the imminent future and will be obligated to give Jennifer half of the settlement money. The judge supervising the divorce put restraining orders on both Jennifer and Amos and ordered that they keep any correspondence civil. One of Amos's ex-wives recently talked to the magazine, stating that Mary's new guy had showed controlling behavior and a obsession with reality stars. The ex alleged, he knows Mary. He saw the show when we lived in Las Vegas. He wanted to find where she lives so he knows who she is. Emma's ex-wife stated that he was opportunistic and could be looking for someone for a payday. The unidentified source also said that Amos is narcissistic. She also added that she was shocked to find that Amos had chased such a renowned woman. She stated, I think he likes to stay low key. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.